The first thing is your sun sign. That's the day in which you was born. That's the sign that you know to the world. I'm a Virgo. I'm a Leo. I'm a Scorpio. I'm a Cancer. I'm a Capricorn. Whatever that is, that's what everybody always, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Leo. You know what I'm saying? They don't know the rest of that shit. You get to talk about some other shit, you fucking them up now. Okay, but as you begin to start to tap into your higher self and you want to vibrate higher and it's like, damn, this is my third marriage. I don't know why the fuck these motherfuckers keep leaving me. You know what I'm saying? Or I keep going in and out of these revolving door relationships. What the fuck is wrong? Or why I don't get along with my mama or why, you know, I'm, you know, what's wrong with my motherly instinct? You know, and all this old type of shit. Well, you know, you have to look into the reasons why. And there are reasons why, okay? So then we're going to go back to the faith aspect, okay? Now, in this life, you have to find something that you're going to have to believe in or at least respect, okay? Now, I'm not pushing shit on nobody. Let's just be crystal clear with that. I ain't got no hoodoo, no none of that, no witchcraft. I ain't none of them motherfuckers. I believe in God. Let's just be crystal clear on that one right there. I'm fully sheltered by the shepherd. I'm one of them. Okay, I am a child of God. That's one thing I am. Okay, but in the midst of it all, I'm just twisted up with some other shit that he just allowed to come into my life. You know what I mean? That's how come you get a birthday. You know what I mean? Yeah, that that's some true game right there. So at any rate, so your sun sign, I'm a Virgo. So that's myself. You know, that's who you are. You know what I'm saying? Your sun sign is the day you were born. Your light, your light. In your life force, your uh, your consciousness, your power, your ego, your self identity, and also, sun is the light. Okay, your moon sign is the dark. The your sun is your fatherly instincts and shit like that. Your moon is your motherly instincts. You know what I'm saying? So when you start tapping into these things and you start reading about it and all of it is in this book right here. All of it is in this book. Okay. Everything that I'm saying to you is in reference to this book. But I have several different other books as well that I kind of cross match different things because I want to know everybody have their own interpretation of things. That's why you need to, while you're increasing your tribe, everybody's going to have a different perspective. That's, so, that's what's so beautiful about everything. That's why it's always good to have friends of different nationalities, you know, uh, have a friend that's older than you, a friend that's younger than you, one's going to keep, they're going to keep you grounded, you know what I'm saying, the younger one going to keep you, your ear on the streets on what's happening, the older one should be giving you some wisdom, and if they not, them motherfuckers done fucked up on their path in some way, shape, or form, because as you get older, if you ain't beginning to have fun, you done fucked up. Okay, because you're supposed to get better with age, not regress. Not on some old, you still doing the same shit you was in your 30s. Nigga, you been in jail? Well, I mean, where the hell you been? You know what I'm saying? Why in the hell is you still doing the same shit you was doing when you got out of college? You know, shit like that. You know, you should evolve as your life goes. You should get better with time. You know what I'm saying? It's the stairway to heaven. Everything is supposed to be going up. You ain't supposed to be going down. You're supposed to be going up. So if you're still doing silly things and you reach my age or better, then therefore, sad to say, you fucked up somewhere. You know what I'm saying? If, but then, too, a lot of times our belief is generational. If our parents told us we was Democrat, we was Democrat. If our, if our parents told us that we was Baptist, we was Baptist. You know what I'm saying? Hey, whatever they said we was, we made our hot water cornbread like that. We didn't do ours like that. We put all this right here in our gumbo. We don't do that. That's their gener generational belief. You have to respect that. That's what they've been taught. That's what, they, that's what they've been going with all their lives. So guess what? You have to respect a person where they are, right? That is their personality. That's their get down. And if you want to have a loving and lasting relationship in this life, and two in which that's, that's what makes the world go around. That's what we was put here to do. We wasn't put here to be by ourselves. We was put here to coexist with another being. It is part of our life's path and journey. You need these people to come in into your life, good and bad, to help you figure out who you are. It's a mirroring effect. Okay? You are what you attract. It's just what it is. And the people that you have your biggest constraints with is the ones that you're going to learn your most shit from. The relationships that fucked you up the most, the, re the relationships that hurt you the most... Those ones right there, those were your soulmates and those were your profound life lessons. 
it is there where you go back and you try to figure out, okay, not only where I went wrong at, you know what I'm saying? Not only what the fuck this motherfucker did to me and all this old type of shit, you know what I'm saying? You need to figure out the part that you played in it, You okay? And you got to figure out the reasons why you did what you did. And not only taking ownership, but you got to also, you know what, check this out. Let me fine-tune some shit in my life, you know what I'm saying? So then, therefore, I know exactly what this bullshit is as it comes. Wait a minute, hold on, partner. I ain't ready to sign up for your bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You know it when it comes. But see, so then therefore, when you have relationships that don't work out, I understand that it hurts. It hurt me too. But the thing is, you have to look at it as though it was a lesson. This is what I needed to know. Growing pains hurt. That is why they're called growing pains. It hurts. You cannot grow in comfort. And anytime you are in a situation and you have to fight your way through it, you're going to be stronger when you come out on the other end. I promise to God you will. Okay? Take it from your auntie. When you come out on the other end, if you survive, baby, your, your, your whole sword and shit done been forged to a whole different level. Now you got a whole different armor on. Now your shit is gold. You know what I'm saying? Now you walking around this motherfucker shit just pinging off of you. Ping, 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 motherfucker saying shit is just ping, ping. Ping, ping, just shit ain't even, it, nothing is sticking. Because now, for every stage of your life, is going to require a different you. So you go through this bullshit, you go through all these different transgressions and triumphs in your life, but it's building you and making you a better individual if you receive it right. Okay, you have to receive it right. It's the way in which you respond to things that happen in your life. It is very, very, very vital and important. And therefore, as you begin to get this type of mindset, I am the energy, I am the energy that I bring. I'm responsible for that. Let me look at the part that I play. Let me be responsible enough to say, you know what? That was me. I did that. I'm so sorry. I'm, that don't make you no punk. That don't make you no pussy whip ass nigga. That don't make you weak or none of that shit. When you say, you know what, I am truly sorry. My bad. You know what? I fucked up. Poor judgment. I, 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 I was wrong. It was me. Blame it on me. I did that. You know what I'm saying? When you take ownership, that is showing your growth. Motherfuckers that don't take ownership, they're still in the dark. They're not there yet. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know who they are. So then therefore, you have to vibrate higher. Leave them where they at because they have to find their own way at their own time. And everybody don't get it at their own time. That's why you have... So many people of a certain age still foolish because they still have not learned their life lessons yet. And they have not truly accepted their path and accepted where they are. So, those people, we have to keep them in prayer. Don't de degrade them and, down, uh, and, and talk down to them. I know it, it's easy to do that. You know what I'm saying? But however though, on some real shit, you know what I'm saying? What goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. You know what I'm saying? So... With that, we back still on this sun sign, though. So, yeah, your sun sign, man, I'm a Virgo. And it's like, man, I just love everything about me being a Virgo. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but yeah, check out what your, your sun sign is. So now we're going to go on to moon. Your moon sign is your motherly instinct. You know what I'm saying? The way you think. You know what I'm saying? Yo, get down. You know what I'm saying? Let me run to my notes. It's your subconscious, your mood, how you react to shit. Your habits, your feelings, your reflection, yeah, your survival instincts, that is your moon sign, okay? So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to refer back and forth to here too as well if you guys don't mind, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all didn't go to church today, okay? Not that we haven't service or nothing like that, I'm just putting you up on some other shit, some other shit, okay? Okay, so yeah, um, okay, so yeah. So your moon sign, my moon sign is a Gemini, okay? So I know I'm a fickle motherfucker. I get turned off real quick, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I didn't like that. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really like that. I, ain't, I, don't, I don't even want to fuck with that no more. You know, I'm one of them, okay? It's time for something else. I can't even do it no more. I, I'm over it, you know what I'm saying? So I, I am a, I'm a Gemini moon, okay? So that's equally as important as, you know, me saying I'm a Virgo. So when, now when somebody asks me, okay, what sign is you? Shit, I'm going to rattle off all my shit and blow them back. Oh, I'm a, uh, my, my uh, sun is a Virgo. My uh, moon is a, a Gemini. And my rising is a Leo. Right then, if they're versed like me and it's a namaste moment, oh, they're going to, we, we, now, now I'm going to find me a tribal member because they already know what's happening right now. 
They already know. They do. They also doing their their work. You know what I'm saying? You have to do homework, family. You know what I'm saying? Life is learning experience. You're going to have to learn throughout the course of your life. Stop thinking that, okay, I ain't, I'm, shit, I've been out of school for 40, 11 years. I ain't, I ain't back on no reading. Shit, I ain't, okay, well then stay in the motherfucking dark then. Stay in the motherfucking dark. That's why your ass still trying to figure shit out. You understand what I'm saying? That's why your motherfucking ass is still stuck. You know what I'm saying? Because you feel like, you know, I'm too old for this shit. Oh, nah, this some bullshit. Nah, that is just because what? Because you, you ain't on? Because you're not ready? That mean it's some bullshit? Come on now. Stop being... Ignorance is bliss. Okay? Stop being ignorant now. Okay? Okay? Stop that. It don't look good. Okay? Put that down. You're going the wrong way. All that old type of shit. Okay? So, yeah. So, then we're going to go to our ascendant and our rising sign, which is the same. Okay? And mine's is in Leo. Now, my ascendant sign is my mask to the world. That's the way in which it's going to be a cover on my Virgo. It kind of shields my Virgo in me. Because the Virgo in me is a sensual vixen with ego and all that other kind of stuff. But the Leo in me, which is my mask and my cover, is, is, is making me appear so strong. My leadership role and skills, you know what I'm saying? It makes me so overt, you know, say what I mean, mean what I say, one of them. Because it's in Leo. And I love it that way because then therefore it's 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 putting a shield and a cover over my Virgo. My Virgo is cold. That bitch is so off the chain. Oh my God. But Leo come in and say, well, you know what? Hold on. You ain't finna handle Virgo any kind of motherfucking way now. What you're not gonna do is that. Okay? That's what the Leo in me. That's what it portrays and that's what it puts out to the universe and to the world. And to people that meet me, they meet the Leo. Just like right now, you're on the Leo shit. You ain't on the Virgo shit. You on the Leo shit right now. Okay? Yeah. It is what it is. From You got to know who you are. We're going to figure it out. I'm, I'm here to help you. Ain't no motherfucking funny ass and stupid ass questions when you're trying to figure out who you are. Okay? So if you want some, you want to know some shit, put it down there below. Send me an email. One sex at gmail.com. Send me a motherfucking email. Auntie, I'm trying to figure this shit out. I don't want to just put it in there because I don't want nobody saying nothing about me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes we'll have these soul sessions and just come on and do live and then you guys can ask me questions. I like that. Like last night, we, we did that last night. We be on that motherfucker three, four, five, six, eleven hours. We do it like that. And I love that. You know what I'm saying? Because then therefore you guys can interact with me. You can feel my energy in real time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I love that. You know what I'm saying? And then plus it ain't taking up no motherfucking camera space. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. It's a direct upload and all that shit to go with it too. Man, if you don't put a commercial right here. Yeah, watch all that. Yeah. Okay, so. But as you're figuring out. Your sun, moon, and rising, which is your main three. Those is the those right there is your trifecta to the world. Your sun, moon, and rising. But auntie, what about some other shit and some other shit? I want to go a little bit deeper than that. I want to talk about my sexuality and how I really get out. Okay, guess what? Now you're gonna go into your Venus. When you go into your Venus, baby, that's your sexuality. That's how you move and sway. That's your swag. That's your, you know what I'm saying? That's your sex game. That's your all of that. And guess what? My Venus is in Virgo. Check that out. The coldest bitch on the wheel. The only motherfucking one. Bad bitch, too. Yeah. I got that motherfucker right above my motherfucking head. A whole silhouette of the Virgo. Yeah. Above my I'm, I'm that motherfucker through and through. Been on it. You know what I'm saying? But once I figured it all out and looked at my... You know, my whole birth chart and shit. I was like, oh, okay, that's why I'm that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm that motherfucker. Yeah, Virgo through and through and through. So my shit is in Venus, okay? Uh, it's in Virgo, okay? So let me tell you a little bit about um, where I'm at. Okay, so it's your love language. It's your charm, your sexuality, your lust, your love, your sociability, and your eroticism. And some more other shit, okay? So now I'm going to go back to the book right here. So just just, just for the sense of what's her name, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 look up because in here it's going to tell you now. And then when you look it up, it's going to have what, you know, when you figure out what your sign, what your birth chart is. See, I put my birth chart, I wrote my shit right here in my book so I always have it. So then I know when I go and reference, when I reference Venus, and then I go and I go to the sign, which my Venus is in Virgo. Check this out. Let me read you what it say. Get a bar. Okay. Desires perfection, reserved, 
sensuous, controlled, critical of his or her partner, Venus in Virgo overanalyzes feelings, falls cautiously in love, and is attracted to the perfect partner. Isn't that something? Ain't that a bitch? I'm that motherfucker. You know what I mean? To know me is to love me. So that's why I'm getting to know me. So then therefore, as you getting to know me, I know me already too. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, we can know each other together. Let's learn this shit together. That's what life's about. You know what I'm saying? To get you a life partner. You want a life partner. Not just a soulmate. Okay? A soulmate is going to help you learn a lot of shit about you. But your ultimate goal is your life partner. That motherfucker right there, you ain't got no secrets. They're a mirror effect of you. You, you. That's your yin and yang type of motherfucking get down. You know what I'm saying? You complete each other's senses. You puzzle pieces that just fit together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't no secrets. It is what the fuck it is and we having fun. We learning each other's haves and have nots and do's and don'ts. We learning all that shit together through trial and error. But we having fun with it. Plus, we're on this bucket list shit, and we having fun with it. You want a life partner, family. You want a life partner. Auntie want a life partner. I done had soulmates. They done brought me to this pivotal level right here, to this point right here in my life where I'm so excited. I'm so glad because I'm able to also share my joy and what I feel inside. I'm able to also share it with you. Isn't that so beautiful? This is so motherfucking beautiful. Baby, I'm having fun in this motherfucking life. I'm rejoicing in all of it. I'm the good and the bad. I'm counting it all joy. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sheltered by the shepherd and I already stand in the know that he's going to give me no more than what I desire and what I deserve. He's going to give me what I deserve. You understand me? And if I deserve some bullshit, I'm going to get just that. What can I say? Have some fun in this life. Quit bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't fooling nobody but you. You look foolish. You look silly. You know what I'm saying? You want your kids to have loving and lasting relationships. So then therefore later on in life you get some grandchildren. And all that old type of stuff. Stop buying all this little bullshit. And start focusing on within 10 years I'm going to buy me a home. So when I get in my 40s and shit. And I'm going to be posted up like my auntie. How my auntie be doing. Outside growing trees and shit. Matter of fact while you're bullshitting. Let me go ahead on and introduce you to this new family member right here. This called Lemon OG. Just got this motherfucker this morning. After I dropped my daughter off at work for $15. Yeah. I'm growing this motherfucker right here. This motherfucker. I got a home for me. You know what I mean? And it's going to reap hell of a reward. Hey, happy to be, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm glad to see, glad to meet you, yeah, one of them, you know, I'm just happy, I'm just having fun on the inside, don't fault me, you know what I'm saying, I am who I am, this is the way God made me, you know, and I'm just going along my path, I'm enjoying all the fruits of my labor, I'm meeting and greeting and way hi, hi girl, hey, I'm singing, dancing, grinning like a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, that's living. I'm not existing in this life. And I want to pull you with me to the motherfucking life. You know what? God damn it. We, you going the wrong way. Let's go this way. Let's try it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as you're figuring out your life's purpose. And when you go to cafe.com. Uh, cafe Astrology. What's the name? Also, you need to know what your ascendant node is. Remember I was telling you a while ago that that's different from your ascendant sign. From your rising. It's totally different. And when you don't know your time, your, your uh, specific time, it's not going to give you that. It's going to give you your ascendant node, which is going to give you your life purpose. It's going to tell you where and which you need to be doing and where you need to be going in this life. It's very, very vital and very, very important. Because then therefore, once you figure out what is my life purpose, Father God, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be of service? What am I supposed to be doing, Father? Please tell me where I'm supposed to go, Lord. With that, and your book is going to tell you. It's going to tell you, where, where you what, what you're supposed to be doing, what your focus need to be on. Fuck all the bullshit because you're going to enjoy all that shit as, as you go on your path anyway. But on your path, you got to know where you're going. What's my destination? Where am I trying to go? Check your ascended note, okay? Your ascended note is your, okay, so here's my notes. It's your sole purpose, your path of evolution, and where you're supposed to be going. 
Okay? Now, my ascendant node is in Aquarius, I believe, ain't it? Yeah, it's in Aquarius. So, let me, my handy dandy, what's her name? Okay, then I'm going to go to uh, my ascendant note. This is some Kohl's shit, you know what I'm saying? 20% off holler, you know what I'm saying? Virgo with me, I gotta have me a coupon. Where the fuck I go? Groupon and all that, I'm that motherfucker, okay? Don't fault me, I am who I am. Love me anyway, shit, God do. Okay, so when I look at this motherfucker and I'm going to Aquarius, right? Right here, Aquarius, okay? Now, check this out. Is this not your partner? Is it not your motherfucking nigga right here? Check this out. Okay, in Aquarius, it says, the path of evolution. The soul is assisting the evolution of humanity to a new vibration that brings equality for each and every soul. If you don't holler at your goddamn partner right now, I ain't got nothing else. What? What, what we talking about? Wait a minute, did I break my shit? No, I really didn't. Kind of a little worried a little bit though, cause yeah, I like that bookmark right there. But at any rate, nigga ain't got a knife in this motherfucker. Wait, what the knife do? Okay, the knife is on the ascendant. If I needed to, you know, go by this, and I was pretty much going by my head and some of the notes right here. But at any rate, this was happening. You got what it was. You got what I what I was trying to, you know, what I'm saying, put out there, convey. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, family, you have to really, really take your time and get to know who you are, really. So then, therefore, you can present your best self to the world. So then, therefore, God can bring you what you deserve. You know what I'm saying? And your soul group that you attract, you guys is just going to be pinging off each other, learning from each other, just clicking on all cylinders. It's just a go. It's on a 10. Ain't nobody jealous than the other one. Ain't nobody feeling this about this one and this and this and this. No. No, 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 no. No. Find yourself your own soul group. I'm already a member. I'm here to help. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to help. So I'm part of you. I'm already part of your motherfucking group. You know what I mean? I'm part of it. I don't already put myself in it. Fuck it. Go ahead and put my chair right there because I'm right there with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm with y'all. I'm here. I'm very. I'm, you can get in contact with me. Send me an email. I'm your partner. I'm here for you. I mean that from the bottom of my soul. I'm here. I'm, I'm here for you. I'm not asking for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not asking for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm comfortable in this life. God has God has provided what I need. Okay? Now, if you want to donate, you know what I'm saying, for some of my motherfucking wants, uh, check this out. Auntie would gladly accept. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Once a month, I'm just going to get this motherfucker $1 for the good shit that she told me this month. No problem. $1? No problem. No problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to count it all joy. And I'm going to be glad in it. You know what I'm saying? And appreciative for whatever. But if you don't have it, it's no problem. You don't have It's neither required nor desired. Guess what? Auntie love you anyway. We still, we still motherfucking family. I'm still part of your social group, your soul group, baby. I'm there. I'm here to help you find your way. Really. I mean that. Okay? So, let me see. Did I miss anything? Okay. I didn't miss anything. I didn't miss anything. I think we're good. <laughs> so, at any rate, family, I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. You know, let's take our time. Know who we are. You know what I'm saying? So God can give us our portion. Give us what we deserve and what he feels that we're supposed to have. Because on some real shit, we're all kings and queens. And we're all supposed to be draped in gold. You know what I'm saying? And all that. I mean, it, all in purple. That's why you see a lot of purple. I like purple. You know, it's a royalty color. You know what I'm saying? I'm a child of God. And I'm I'm so glad in it. I rejoice in it. I love it. I love everything about it. He knows my heart. He knows that I'm still working on me. And he's patient with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you fall down seven times, supposed to still get up eight. You know what I mean? So... On that note, family, I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. Let's continue this dialogue. Leave your comments below. Thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Support. You know what I'm saying? So it gives me morale to continue to do what I'm doing. You know? My cousin is just a byproduct. It's just who she is. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. Bye. You guys have a soulful Sunday. Don't eat too much of that fried chicken and whatever the fuck you cooking today. Love you guys. I'm gone.